like this. So the scan is done, we can give click on this. Essentially what it will do is that it will generate uh, all of our names that we have collected. So let's see, I call this for names, takes thing. Put it like this, so first name, last name. And then I will run this. And then now username generate successful names. So now for chat, generated usernames. Boom. Now we have all of that, which is awesome, right? So I think I just wanna keep that in this directory right there. Generate usernames. It. <laughs> and if I want to as well, I can do like so. Um, actually, we haven't verified it yet, but <laughs> let us do that now. So the next thing that we want to do, so go back to our checklist. So now we have found it's these possible usernames and we have found some that seems uh, possibly legitimate. We have checked an arm's axis. Um, yes, we have tried this. So we tried the uh, Enum Brub users. Okay, yes. So now we want to check those usernames that we have found with Kerbert. So. <laughs> Mrs. Kerbert, if you don't know how to get Kerbert, I suppose I can show you real quick. So you go here to the release step. I like to get the AMD 64 one. W gets like so. And then we also just remove Kerberts. So if I run Kerberts now. It won't work, right? So let me show you how tile highlight do it. So we can make this one executable. So if I try to execute it now, now we have Kerberit, right? To add it into the user bin, I like to copy Kerberit and then put it in user bin Kerberit, like so. So whichever path I'm in now, and I run Kerberit, it works, right? So. That's pretty much how you do it. Um, so yes. So Kerbert for usernames. Let's do it like so. Kerbert usernames is correct. The domain controller we had put that as targets. The domain was, I'm not sure I remember, but let's find that out. You can easily find out the domain by running netx against the targets, like so. And there you see, service dot local. Uh, so this is the generated users. Domain is services dot local. So we have found these valid names. Okay, Dyke Slim. Valid user names. Mm. Let's go back to the checklist. We have done this. Now, test for us, you're proposing I have to collect username, so I get a solicitor. <laughs> so, Astra Prost. You can uh, you can find us easy by googling or just making your own cheat sheet. But these are my notes, and you can get them down below. They have a ton of stuff. So uh, yes, let's say our services that local domain controller IP is this IP right here. The The users is this, and 
and then we can output that into hashes. So let's try, let's try acid processing, sorry. I guess all of these, and there we go. We can see that JROD is susceptible to, to acid processing. So that is amazing. They write vulnerable to Astra Roast. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's gonna be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.